Next, we'll take a look at adding guides to artboards. So if I go to file and then choose open in the working folder, we've got a file called biz cards. I'll open that up uh, again, view and fit all in window. There is just the one artboard in there. And if I go to the artboard tool, you will see that it has a width of 85 millimeters and a height of 55 millimeters. That's pretty much standard for European business cards uh, on the whole that is. Uh, if I hit the escape key, and then if we want to add guides in here, well, there's a couple of things to be aware of. If I zoom out, go to view and then choose to turn on rulers, show rulers. I'm going to left click on the layer called guides. And then if I want to you know, create some guides just around the edges for say a margin, and I can hover my cursor over the ruler, click and hold down the mouse, drag downwards, and then drop a guide in here. Now you'll notice that the guide runs all the way across the artboard, but in the entire editing environment inside of Illustrator as well. Now that guide might have no relevance to any other artwork in your document, but it will get in the way, which is really tedious. So if I just go back to view and then fit artboard in window and then choose edit undo ruler guide, what you can do is add your guides by going down to the artboard tool and doing it in artboard editing mode. Now, to be clear, you can only add guides in this mode um, or, of course, move and change your artboard. So you can't reposition the guides once you've added them. You'd have to do that afterwards. So if I go to the horizontal rule across the top, click and hold down the mouse and drag downwards here and then let go of the mouse, it adds a guide that only runs across this current artboard in here. Notice in the layer called guides, if I expand that open, there we have a guide in there. So when you're done, hit the escape key on the keyboard. And at this point, if I wanted a, a guide to be five millimeters from the top in there, well, here in my transform section of the uh, properties panel, you can see that the guide is uh, just over two millimeters from the top. If I swipe over that, type in five, hit return key, that will now be five millimeters from the top in there. So you could add guides around every edge in there. And, and that's how you do it in artboard editing mode. So it only sticks to the current artboard. Now that's a bit long winded. So I am going to just um, hit the delete key on the keyboard to delete that guide. And then I'm going to pick up my rectangle tool. I'll then press the D key on the keyboard to reset the colors back to their defaults of a white fill and a black stroke. And then I'm going to click and hold down the mouse, drag out to draw a rectangle. And then for this one, I'm going to change the width to be 10 millimeters less for the width. So 75 and then press return. And then for the height, that's going to be 45 and press return. Then go down to a line and I'm going to line it to the center of the artboard horizontally and vertically like so. Then what I can do, switch to my selection tool, right click on the uh, rectangle and then choose make guides. And it'll then turn it into a guide which is stored in the layer called guides. And if I just double left click here and show you that it's in a layer that has been color coded green, which is perfect for guides, nice, bright, luminous color. Now I'll click OK. Uh, I'll collapse the guides layer. I'll lock it so I don't risk moving it. And then I'll unlock the layer called info, which of course contains a logo and the text in there. And it just provides a relatively straightforward way of creating a margin around uh, an artboard, obviously, in a layer itself that is locked away. So there's no risk of us clicking and moving that around. And then which we can sort of keep the artwork within that region in a safe zone away from the edge of the trimmed document. So that's how you can add guides to an artboard in Illustrator.